So that's what you look like on the inside, Mario? up let's get it over 500 likes boy all right the new nintendo switch is starting to slowly hit store shelves now i reported it about two days ago that it's been confirmed in australia and in china some regions that the new revised switch model can be purchased well it looks like in the good year old us of a the same thing is happening the, the system is reportedly being available in random places in the U.S. And so, you may want to check your local retailer. Again, the big clue is it's going to be a red box instead of a white box that the old Switch came in. Now, the big question is, what's different on the inside? And, here we go. According to early reports, the inside looks exactly the same as the previous Nintendo Switch. So, not much has really changed between the old Switch model and the new Switch model. But, the biggest change is the chip. The processing chip, a new revised Tegra X1 is on the revised version of the chip and what's telling is the battery is pretty much the same battery as the old switch but there's so much more longer battery usage for the new switch model meaning the new switch is the new switch chip is more battery efficient like everyone expected suspected it's a more energy efficient chip and that's what's contributing to the longer battery life and there's early this is early and this is still not confirmed but there's early reporting that games are running in fact slightly better on the new switch model um, compared to the old switch model now is it a completely different game experience you're pretty much getting the same gaming experience regarding of which switch models uh, you're gonna get but I did say that and this is just me when I said I'm estimating that we're probably gonna get slightly better frame rates and resolution in some games if this new chip is in fact um, a little better um, and so far we already know it's more battery efficient so as more dudes get their hands on I'm really waiting to see what Digital Foundry has to say once they start ripping uh, the new Switch model apart to see what they say about um, how it compares to the old Switch. Uh, load times, frame rates in certain games, resolution, all that technical stuff. So, <laughs> time will tell, but the new Switch model, Nintendo's just quietly getting rid of the old and putting in the new the big question will be this right here joy cons will there still be joy con dr drifting unresponsiveness in the new joy cons that come with the new switch time will tell and that's something that's going to be tested over time wear and tear <coughs> how well the new joy cons will hold up in the suit in the new switch model but we shall see bruh next news item dragon quest 11 a demo has been announced for the nintendo switch now we don't know when the demo will drop uh they just square enix just confi officially confirmed today that a demo will be available for dragon quest 11 and so if you skipped on the game on the playstation 4 and you're looking forward to the switch version which the switch version um is going to be the definitive version they have it in the title definitive edition is going to have more content um, it will be available in September, in September, in September. I already have it on my PlayStation 4. Your boy is probably going to double dip 
for the Switch version. And so Dragon Quest XI, a I mean, you can try out the game for yourself before the game launches. That's when you know a developer is confident in their game, when they're giving us a demo ahead of time. So can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. And we have more news for DC Universe Online coming to the Nintendo Switch. Um, coming, wow, in like three days. Now, they did a um, um, a full FAQ um, answers and questions. And so we're going to go over um, some of the key points of this game that dudes might not know about. When will it launch on the Switch? August 6th. Will it be free to play? Yes, it's going to be free to play. What's going to be the download size? 24 gigabytes. Oh, when I saw that, I was like, man. That's a big game, 24 gigabytes. That's a lot of gigabytes for the Switch. <coughs> all right, will all episodes, powers, content be available at launch? Yes, the Switch version is going to be on par with all other versions of the game. This is also interesting. Will Nintendo Switch Online be required to play? No. Anyone can download and log in. And... That's um, in line with, with what Nintendo's been doing with other free-to-play games. It's a free-to-play game, and so um, you, uh, Nintendo Switch Online membership will not be required to play. Is an internet connection required to play? Yes. <coughs> you must be constantly connected on the internet, though. All right. Will my account or characters transfer from other platforms? No. Um, it's going to be ex no nothing will transfer over. And they asked, will it have cross-play? They said, not at launch. It's going to have a separate server. But they said, we look forward to exploring cross-play uh, options in the future. So, um, interesting, interesting stuff with DC Online. French Fry. Subscribe while I'm recording this video. If you're watching this video, make sure you click that subscribe button. It'll pop up live right now. I'm for real. I'm for real. It'll pop up right now. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Psych. This is pre-recorded. Come on, bro. Get your head in the game. But DC Universe Online, we got more information on the game. Now, next news item. <coughs> I talked about this already. Twitch has lost an icon. Ninja has moved over to Mixer. Microsoft has um, reportedly cashed out millions and millions and millions to get him to exclusively stream on uh, mixer and it looks like so far it's benefiting ninja they're saying his first stream his average viewership was around 65,000 concurrent viewers at one time that's crazy um, and they said it actually peaked at one time in the 95,000 concurrent viewers now compare this to his average Viewership on Twitch has been around 40,000 concurrent average at a time. So, so far, of course, of course, his first stream is going to be pretty high. We'll have to see how it goes on in the long term. But the dude is popular. He's going to be all right. Make sure you have a Mixer account. You know what? I am going to, um, well, later today, I usually don't do a game streams on Saturday nights. But I am on Madden. I'm probably just going to be pulling Madden uh, Madden Ultimate Team cards, pulling Mutt cards on. I'm going to multi-stream on Twitch, Mixer, and Twitter. If you're following me on Twitter, in your Twitter feed, my stream will pop up as well, bro. We lit, bro. All right, and the last news item. This is interesting, and it might affect next gen. Um, those of you know, there's been a trade ta trade taxes on products coming in from China in the US and it just may directly affect console prices next generation. PlayStation, um, Sony, Microsoft and Nintendo, they've already issued a joint statement that happened about a month or so ago on their opposition to this taxes because it's going to cost them more. The big question is how will it affect us? Will console prices rise next generation as a result we don't know yet but uh, with nintendo's newly revised switch model it could be an indication that they just might the, um, the companies might just bite the bullet they might just suffer lower profits and still give us the same um costs 
um, for the consoles because the new Switch model is still only $300 and it did cost Nintendo. Now this is reportedly that Nintendo did have to switch production from China to other to another location um, so that cost could stay down in the long term. But I'm sure it costs to even just um, ship production. So interesting to see Sony. Uh, this is an article from SlashGear.com. Uh, um, and Sony is all already responding that uh, the PlayStation 5 um, it's gonna cost Sony more <coughs> already whether or not that's gonna translate into higher um, PlayStation uh, higher PlayStation 5 costs who knows but the X factor and I didn't mean to do that but that's a pun the X factor is the Xbox because that's a US company so I wonder how the trade um, taxes will be on Microsoft because they're a US company in the first place will they benefit from it we'll have to see I don't know I don't know all that tax political stuff all right dudes what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video um, sound off in the comment section below I want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things Nintendo we out for you